it's on Sunday. Uh, it's still Sunday. Yeah, but, yeah, but uh, nothing special on, on Sunday. Okay. Uh, right. On Monday, we have... Uh, I will monitor the Euro-German flash manufacturing PMI, simply monitor, and uh, bullish. I will monitor also the German Bundesbank monthly report. And before that, we have Tenrero from the Bank of England uh, talking. So let's see the content of uh, its speech. Uh, due to speak at the European Central Bank conference in Frankfurt, audience questions uh, expected. Um, I have no idea what he will, what will be the content of this. Uh, okay. So, so normally nothing uh, important. So. Okay. Uh, it's still really jumpy with coming up to the end of Brexit or the beginning of Brexit or whatever it is. Mm, I would. I, I doubt. I, I doubt okay. for that. So then we have. Let's see. Uh, we have the card wholesale sales, sales month of the month major. A bit bearish. Now let's see the speech by Draghi. Due to testify about the economy and monetary policy before the European Parliament Economic and Monetary Affairs Committee in Brussels. Oh, I will monitor that, but not really. We should have nothing new. Simply monitor. Yep. Then I will monitor also the US dollar flash manufacturing PMI and flash services PMI. So monitor and uh, we will have a neutral bias for the manufacturing PMI and a bit bullish for the services PMI. Then we have uh, Williams and Bullard speaking. Due to speak at the U.S. Treasury Market Conference in New York, let's forget. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> I was just, just thinking he's doing it via satellite, which makes yeah. it sound really important. But that's what we're doing, you said. Everyone here is on the satellite. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Due to speak about the U.S. economy and monetary policy at Effingham Chamber of Commerce luncheon. No, not important. Okay. Then I will monitor the Euro German E4 business climate and uh, neutral. Okay. Done. Uh, not major, a monitor, Chris. Then we have uh, low speaking. <coughs> All right. So you will deliver a speech titled An Economy Update at the Army, Armidale Business Chamber Diner in South, New South Wales. No, no, no let's forget it. Uh, then we have the US dollar CB consumer confidence, major and a bit bearish. Then we have the Kiwi trade balance, major higher time frames, uh, bullish. I will monitor the Yen Monetary Policy Meeting Minutes. Yep. And when we have an important one, the Kiwi Official Cash Rate, so uh, major higher time frames, uh, neutral, and the rate statement, uh, of course. Okay. Uh, that is for Tuesday. Wednesday, we will have, <clears throat> let's see. Um, bum, 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 bum. I will monitor the German uh, GFK consumer climate, so monitor and uh, neutral. Monitor the German 10-year bond auction. Ah, missed that one. Yeah. Uh, uh, not, not the Credit Suisse. No, no, no. Okay. <coughs> Then we have uh, Ivan speaking. Why? Where did it go? Here we are. Yeah. 
due to speak about the economic outlook and monetary policy at the Lake Forest Rotary Club. Rotary Club, so let's forget it. <laughs> and George also speaking. Okay. <laughs> I've lost my place in my spreadsheet. <laughs> due to testify on the Federal Reserve's plans for faster payment before the Senate Banking Committee in Washington, D.C. Um, no, this should not have an impact. Okay, and the Swiss quarterly? No, no, no. And to monitor the US dollar crude oil inventories. Done. Yep. Scrolling down. That is for Wednesday. On Thursday, <clears throat> we will have uh, the Euro M3 money supply year over year. Major higher time frames neutral. Yep. Not the bulletin. No, no, no. Okay. Not in the present context. We all know that um, many countries in the European Union are uh, in a wrong situation. So mm. uh, then we have, uh, bum, bum, bum. Uh, let's see. Uh, so uh, let's see. Also, yeah. Uh, sorry, back up on what you said. Because they're not going very well, then would it not be advisable to monitor the bulletin? No, because there will be no no new no new information. So. Okay. Right. Cheers. Then we will have. Um, where are we? Oh yeah. Uh, again, uh, Draghi and Carne uh, speaking. So Sorry, not first the of all. Not these little beasties. No, no, no. The final GDP uh, is not important. Oh, yeah, I don't know why. I was a bit tired last night. Okay. Uh, and the goods trades balance? No, the goods trade, no, not important. It always gets me. Okay, <laughs> ECB. So, yeah, Draghi, again, talking. Ah. So, due to deliver opening remarks at the European Systemic Risk Board annual conference in Frankfurt, no, not important here. We can expect Draghi speaking uh, more often as he is coming to the end of his term. Yeah. I thought he might drop some little bombshells on Brexit. <laughs> <coughs> hey, Eva. Eva, sorry. And Dan and Rodolfo. Everyone's flooding in. It's good. Okay. Uh, okay. Oops. Sorry, you can't see. Uh, after Draghi, we have uh, who else? There's Draghi up here. Uh, we have Carney, yeah. And due to participate in a panel discussion. Okay, let's forget. And sorry, it's just jumping around. Uh, Bullard. And Bullard, yeah. Her. You to deliver opening remarks at an event hosted by the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis. No, let's forget. And can you pick up? That is really strange what happened um, in your piece. <coughs> well, then monitor the US dollar natural gas storage. Of it's course. not my PC, it's, <laughs> they've changed their website. Hmm. It's been fine for 10 years, you say. Okay, uh, monitor natural gas. Done. Yeah. Then we have a FOMC press conference. Um, that's strange. Let's see the content. Okay. Why do they held a press conference? Hold. Uh, due to speak at an event hosted by the Federal Reserve Bank of San Francisco. Audience question. Uh, that's strange. Let's monitor that event. That's not common that after such an event they they make a press conference. Okay, Clarida. And Clarida. As well. You to speak at an event hosted by the Federal Reserve Bank of San Francisco. The same event. So let's monitor the press conference. Yeah, they're both at the same time. So, okay. It's, it's true that there are some strange, strange things happening with the with the Fed for the moment these days. Last week, this week. Okay, so how do we monitor this in here, Eusebio? 
Uh, if uh, there is a streaming, so we could um, watch the, the, the streaming and see if there will be some declaration, uh, some words um, <coughs> impacting the market. Okay. Uh, ah, the watch live. Yeah. It's on the 9th of the 4th. Okay, uh, so this was 26th. Yeah, no, you, you don't have uh, it on, on, on the site for the moment. It will be apparent when the conference, the press conference will start. Somewhere down. This this is American, isn't it? So it's backwards. Uh, yeah. Nine. I'm looking. Uh, I don't understand this. Hang on. August, August 23, uh, September 4th, 4th oh, September no. uh, 5th. So, yeah. Yep. And then it goes where? These are the, the, uh, the available recorded okay. videos. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. I was, yeah. No, the link will be available uh, when the streaming will start, a okay. few minutes before the, the event. Right. And I got to that link for anybody interested. Uh, sorry, I don't know this because I don't trade the American sessions. So under here we have, uh, in her little yellow box, is the uh, the link that I just went to. Yeah, Some but it, the press it will be especially for the press conference. Yeah. Yep. No, no, the previous one. <sighs> This one. So what do you mean no, by this, this, this is Clarida. Ah. The press conference is the previous uh, line. Yep. Sorry. This thing jumping around. Okay, here we go. It's probably just going to take me to the same page. And... Yeah, probably because these are the live oh, events. No. No. no, not yet. You see, you have the last conference on the, uh, three days ago. Yeah. Okay, nobody else is joining in. Okay, I yep. uh, don't know if they're doing a live stream. They might show it here and it'll come up with a red tag on it. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, maybe, don't know. Um, this is class practice and turn that off and come back up here. So where were we? Uh, where are we? We were on on Thursday, Chris. Yeah, Then we have, uh, let's see, I will monitor the GBP, uh, GFK, consumer confidence, and neutral. And that's it for Tuesday. <coughs> Tuesday. Okay. And on Friday, what do we have? We have Sounders speaking. Okay. Jumping around. Uh, Bank of England. Due to speak at a briefing hosted by Barnsley and Rotherham Chamber of Commerce and Barnsley Institute of Chartered Accountants in New Yorkshire. Accountants, no, let's forget. No, no, it could be really important, you said. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, monitor the 10 year bond auction in Italy. Done. Yep. Then we have the US dollar core durable goods order month over month major bullish. Yep. We have the US dollar durable goods orders month over month uh, higher time frames and uh, bearish. And we have just before uh, the durable goods order the core PCE price index month over month. So major and neutral. Then we have Quarles talking, speaking again, okay. or, or also scrolling down. <coughs> you do speak about macroprudential regulation uh, at Georgetown University. General lecture, expect nothing. And that's it for Friday and for the week. Okay, and for us Kiwis, Daylight Savings Kicks and next weekend. Um, so that means that the scrolling party will be on at 9 o'clock Sunday morning New Zealand instead of 8 o'clock if anybody's interested. Everybody else, it's exactly the same time. Okay, uh, so we got that and I'll, oh, no we haven't. So you, you will be better awakened, so. <laughs> No, it's the first day you say we're still be grumpy. 
later on when it's 10 o'clock in the morning I get better, but um, I spent all day on the news watch in that case. Anyway, <laughs> starting to moan already. Uh, okay, so I'll just save that in case the whole thing blows up. Yeah, yeah. And when it's top 10, uh, these ones, the number of pairs that are over 750 is reduced. Uh, it was 10 last week and it had been 14 the previous weeks, but the ranges are still wide. So if we look compared to back in February when I started doing this, the range was 1330 and now the range is uh, 1301. Why did that do that? At the same kind of range. So it's still not good, but it's not as bad as it was in, in this little period here when it was half what it, almost half of what it is now. Okay, so I've transferred, so these are the pairs, the official pairs to look at. I've transferred these ones over to the um, news page so that Eusebio can do his magic trick of pairing up the news to the uh, top ten pairs and we'll see is available on a daily basis, so I'll just stretch this out a wee bit. Okay. Okay, uh, so for Sunday we have nothing, and yeah. for Monday we have the CAD. We have the CAD for Monday? Oh yeah, the CAD, indeed. For the CAD, okay, and nothing else. Yep. So we will have the pound CAD, Then the pound yen, can you hear it going like that? Yeah, it, it okay. goes myself. <laughs> so the pound yen. <laughs> oh no, it's this, uh, that's alright, my spreadsheet's making the popping noises. Right. Yep. And okay. then pound kiwi or pound Aussie. Done. That's correct. This one. Uh, <clears throat> So nothing at the end of Monday. On Tuesday we have the US dollar. So the US dollar here, okay. And that's it. So we will have for the first pair the pound US dollar. And then the pound yen. And then the pound kiwi or pound, uh, and pound Aussie, yeah. Pound yep. kiwi or pound Aussie. Yeah, that's okay. So hangers over from Tuesday we have the kiwi. So the kiwi, so the kiwi is here and here, okay. Okay, and on Wednesday itself we've got nothing. Okay, so we will have for the first pair the pound kiwi or pound Aussie. And then the pound yen. No, 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 no. Then the Euro Kiwi or the Euro Aussie. Okay. Oh, and if you want to go that and, way. and then the Pound Yen. The Euro Kiwi or Euro Aussie and then the Pound Yen. Gotta have a pound on there, you save you. Oh, we've got it up at the top anyway. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And hangers over from Wednesday for Thursday we have it right we Wednesday hangers on, nothing, and nothing, on okay. Thursday we have the Euro. So the Euro here, 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 and here. And that's it. That's it, okay. So for the first pair we will have the Euro Pound. Ah, interesting. Euro Pound. Then the Euro Yen. Uh. Let's not use it. No. And then we will have the Euro Kiwi or the Euro Aussie. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's not usual. Hmm. <clears throat> Things are shifting in the world. Perhaps. It's going tippy top, you say, Bjerg. <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord. Why would he say that? <laughs> Um, perhaps he doesn't. Perhaps he does not know other words, other vocabulary terms. I don't know. 
<laughs> I, I watched it when he did it, <laughs> but I don't think so. so <laughs> yeah, in, indeed, Bold, the Euro is making a comeback in, in our list, indeed. So, um, Friday, so nothing okay. for, uh, from Tuesday. Yep, and we've got the US dollar, that's it. Uh, the US dollar, so the US dollar is uh, here. That's all? That's it. So you take exactly the same selection as Tuesday. Tuesday, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right, okay. So the idea of these is we've got a bunch of pairs to monitor through the week. Uh, if this gets I, I recommend when you're starting out, and after a while you find that you only need to monitor one or two tops, um, just monitor one or two pairs. Uh, this selection here is the best lot, and then we've paired it down on a daily basis. Uh, coming back to the news itself, um, the reason that we've gone through uh, this, uh, this is the normal incantation. If you've got, uh, where are we, anything much H4 and Plus means that anything from the age four and above, uh, be careful of this, of it when the news comes out on this Kiwi pair, because it could impact uh, the pairs that are coming out. So don't place any trades one hour prior, and get out of it within half an hour of the news actually coming out. Uh, for all the other time frames, uh, if you could just a major marking against it, like for instance this one, then um, for the smaller time frames. Uh, then the same thing applies. So, and it's just a time. Uh, it's the one hour and the half hour that you monitor. It's not not depending on the number of bars. It doesn't matter what chart that you, uh, yeah, time frame chart that you're actually trading. It's the actual time itself. So, one hour, half hour. Um, the three major pairs: the euro, the US dollar, and the yen. Uh, if there's any major news or major H4 news coming out on those, then it can impact any other uh, currency pair that you've got. So if you're trading the Kiwi Aussie or something like that, um, still be careful when the when there's news coming out on the US and the Euro, etc., because they can impact. If, for the smaller pairs, if there's a major news coming out on them like this one, uh, and you're trading the euro dollar, which doesn't have the key with the Aussie in it, then it may not impact, but I have seen it make the pound dollar jump. A surprise news came out on the Kiwi. So still be aware of them, but you don't necessarily need to uh, not enter a trade or pull out of the uh, close the trade down. Just just be really careful of it. Standard people, if you've got lots of uh, scale running at that point, when the news is about to happen, uh, you could take some off to protect your profits and um, make you uh, into a less risky position. Um, uh, you don't necessarily need to get out of them, the trades completely. Okay, it's your call. And what else? Is that it? I think that's it. Um, and so ends this, this scrolling party. <laughs> uh, Edward, yeah. thanks, thanks for unmuting. Eusebio, thank you for your help. And, My pleasure. Um, and everybody else, thank you for your comments and stuff here. I hope it's been helpful. Thank Have you for the opportunity. It's very nice. Thank you. Thank right. you for every week, it's very nice. I, I learn something new every time. Thank you. Ah, it's a pleasure. It's, yeah, this is what these things are for. And So I'll catch you all later. Um, see you in class or at the next week's scrolling party. Bye now. Yeah.